Okay, so um, one thing that we need to do uh, to make sure that your Media Portal box can play all types of movie formats, um, the file, the program that I, I've been using and hasn't given me too much grief, so I like it, um, is called, whoops, it's called a K-Lite Codec Pack, or the Mega Pack. So if you type in K-Lite there, go to the Mega Pack, the top one here from Codec Guide Download, if you go there and download, personally I just go and do the, the Mega Pack here. So we'll go <coughs> Mega. And it tells you there, you know, it was released on the 8th of October the 4th, so it's newest and it's always got updated versions of everything there, so um, it's 20 megs. So what I'll do is I'll just go and um, download it. And while it's doing that, we'll go and we'll do a couple of little cleanups. So, um, whoops. Just open that up. So just go download now. Just wait for it. So you see, I just go download and <coughs> save it to where I've saved everything else. So while that's downloading, I'll minimize everything. Um, Things like this, you know, like I'll go and clean up things like this and um, so go into property. So nothing pops up. Um, you don't really need uh, a lot of changes. So that's okay. So just leave that. One other thing that I uh, need to go through is I start up media portal configuration because. I have a, um, <clears throat> a digital camera that records video in high def and it's got a, uh, a special extension to the file name, M M2TS. So I've got to add it into this video setting to basically find that type of uh, file. I'm sorry, you need to switch to expert mode. Um, you see there and you see it gives you a few extra options. So in extensions, it's got most things there, but it doesn't have, it's got MTS. Oh, it does have the M2TS, so that's good. Um, the one type of other file I like to add is the uh, FLV. Add. So if you've got a special type of file that it's not showing up, this is where you go and you can add in extra ones. So it's got all the very popular ones. Um, MPEG. I can't think of any other ones at the moment other than that that one. Um, if you're willing to try, you can go in and play around with all of this, but I don't. Um, I really don't muck around with it too much, especially when it's working. I just I tend to just leave it. <laughs> so that was pretty much it. That's all I needed to add in in there um, and again you know once you're you're happy with everything um, go back into the um, here start up and select the start media port on full screen mode so that it literally takes up all your screen um, tick that if you want depending on the the um, the skin that you use um, the best is to keep media portals always on top, tick that, and auto start on Windows startup so that when you reboot the machine or when you're turning it on, it media portal starts straight up. Uh, so, little things like that. There was... Sorry, there was one thing I was thinking about and I've forgotten. Um, that needed to be looked at. Oh, in here, on screen display. If you that zap delay, if you change that to zero, um, you'll find you get a 
quicker response, a slightly quicker response when you're changing TV channels, basically. Anyway, so that's it from there. So that's finished downloading. <coughs> I'm just going to go and uh, basically run it. Um, again, there's a lot of different options. I mean, I would, um, I keep a lot of stuff on default. Uh, there's nothing here that I you'd really need to go. I leave. I, I've just left everything on default, and um, it's basically worked very well for me. Um, it'll play almost. Obviously, other than that, it'll play almost any um, any video format that you have that you can throw at it. So um, it's pretty good. So you tick them all. I actually tick them all there. Um, yeah, again, this is thumbnail, so not that big a deal. Um, but if you want, you can go tick it. What it'll do is go through and create the thumbnails in the video mode. Not that important. Here, you can change this but depending on the settings that you have. Um, I actually my setting I actually have uh, three front three oh so I have a center and a left and a right as a basic setup at the moment so I'll leave that I never use anything like that and install so it's saying please close which is fine because I've finished downloading everything anyway so I'm going to go and close it OK, so that, that's pretty much it. And um, the, the only difference after, I, I don't worry about that for now too. Sorry, it'll open up and it'll packs and stuff. And you'll find that you don't really need all of that. So if we go back into middle configuration here, the, the only, the biggest difference you'll see once you've installed that is um, in there here, codex and renderer. So you'll see that it's kind of filled it out. Um, all of this is the media portal default, and you can go through and, and try which one's best. You can see the that uh, video decoder was installed. Just leave everything and, and go through and try like TV, see how it all works, and then you can go and change it all. Um, you don't have to change it here, you can change it within media portal to test to give you the best settings. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, now it's just a matter of fine-tuning it and playing around with it a little bit until you're happy. But uh, that's pretty much for now, and um, thanks for watching. Hope it helped.